Hi there, I'm Phil here. In this video, I want to show you how to receive items in Business Central in the location where advanced warehouse management features are enabled. You can see that I have one purchase order open here, and this purchase order has two lines, both meant to be delivered to my Manchester location, a location where I have enabled uh, advanced warehouse management features. You can check another video when I describe the full process. Now, the most common ways of receiving this order through a warehouse receipt document is by clicking on process and click here, warehouse, create warehouse receipt. The setup in my location is correct and therefore I get the document created with the right details. It defaults to a bin code, which is my loading bay 01 that I created before and assigned to my Manchester location as the default bin, and both lines of my order are in the document. The reference to my order is in the lines, and I can also go back from the line and click here to show the link to the purchase line, and of course from here back to the purchase order. So one purchase order, one warehouse document. If you have complex inbound mm, workflows, uh, for example, when you receive um, mixed loads or mixed containers with multiple purchase orders in one uh, in one place, this process might not be ideal. Therefore, there is a better way of consolidating orders into one receipt. So let's delete this one. And instead of starting from the purchase order, we can create a new warehouse receipt and this time we create it uh, from scratch. So here is my list of warehouse receipts where I have nothing. So in a typical business scenario, a warehouse manager or team leader will plan the activities knowing that a mixed um, load, a mixed container will arrive. We can create a new document therefore and then from this document, we can pull down all the order lines from multiple orders that are going to be delivered with that with a lorry or van or container. So my blank warehouse receipt will start from a non, from document number. I click tab and I get business center to create it for me. Then I choose my warehouse uh, location Manchester. And like before, I have the bin code default into my loading page 01. However, as a warehouse manager or team leader, I can decide to get this lorry um, uh, to my loading page 02, for example. I can also assign a user who's going to be uh, unloading, who will unload this vehicle. You may notice that there is nothing here that I can do for the lines, I cannot add the lines manually, and there is a reason for that. It's no, it might not be ideal just to write and type line by line. But we don't have to do that. In Business Central, is a much better way of doing that. And the functionality that allows us to pull down multiple lines into one consolidated receipt is under Prepare, and it says Get Source Documents. If I click here, I get the list of warehouse inbound requests for three mm, documents. And you will notice that there is the purchase order that we tried to receive before, the other purchase order from another vendor. I can over on here, I can see who's the vendor, who's the supplier from which we buy uh, this, mm, the goods. But I also have a return order from a customer. So in this screen, I can have multiple orders. I can even have inbound transfer requests. For example, if we transfer items from one location into the other. So now I can choose to select more if I want to receive all the documents in my warehouse receipt, or maybe looking at the driver's paperwork, I can understand that only these two documents are included and I don't need the third one. And by clicking OK, I will get all the lines pulled through in my document. So for this example, let's select them all. 
Let's click OK and see what happens. So here now I have a consolidated browser receipt with multiple lines from multiple orders. Three returns, three lines from one return, two lines from this order, and two more lines from this order. order. Here there is an interesting um, functionality that I want to highlight. You will notice that with my order, for my order ended in 21, I have two lines. However, if I check the source document line here, I can see the individual line here. But if I open the order, you would notice that this order has, in fact, three lines. And the third line that is not being pulled through our warehouse receipt is a line that for which the location is different. In Business Central, you can always receive all the lines into different locations and the system will never mix uh, lines so even though for this order we have mm, two lines in manchester and one for my warehouse mm, north by creating a warehouse receipt for my location manchester i only have the manchester lines into it so consolidation that works at line level allows you to plan and segregate multiple activities in one warehouse document. Now that this warehouse receipt is completed, I can move on to the next um, step of the process and I can simply post the receipt. Now, depending on my setup now, Business Central will create a put away or there is also the option for me to create um, a put away. Uh, using the worksheet, something that I will cover in another video. The last thing that I wanted to show you about the receipt process is this um, uh, this information here, this message. The system is telling me that the source documents posted are three out of three. And in fact, I, you may remember that I pulled through three documents in this warehouse receipt, two purchase orders and one sales return. So this is a confirmation confirmation message telling me that all the documents that, that, that I pulled through this warehouse receipt have been created. At the same time, the system has created one consolidated put away activity with lines from the receipt that I can start now put away so the items will go through their final storage location, something that I will cover, of course, in another video. Thanks for watching.